Hi, guys. Welcome to the Dr. Nurse Podcast. Today, we have a super special guest. Oriana Turley is a mother, an adventurer, a registered nurse, and a founder of Medicine Mountain Scrub Company. She's recently transitioned from a bedside nursing position to a 100% remote position as an environmental stewardship data analyst and program coordinator for a large national healthcare organization. In this role, she's been advocating for and is part of a team pursuing carbon neutral healthcare delivery, which is pretty cool. She lives in the Bitterroot Valley of Montana and Baja California, Sur, Mexico, with her two-year-old daughter, Amara, and her blacksmith husband, Charlie, which that just sounds super rugged blacksmith. When not working at the hospital, she can be found wandering wild places with her family. Her business is centered around reducing supply chain impact on the planet, on ethically manufacturing and encouraging healthcare workers to increase their contact with wild spaces to heal. She truly believes mountains are medicine and the lessons learned in the outdoors can be directly applied to the medical workplace. Medical mountain scrubs are made from recycled material and are designed by nurses focused on full coverage function and made in hues of the alpine. You can almost palpate what it feels like and what it looks like. It really is a very beautiful colored line from what I've been looking at. So take me back to when you decided to become a nurse because you didn't wake up one day and have a clothing company and have this great remote job that allows you to live in two places at once. And like all this stuff didn't just show up on your doorstep. You fought for these things. You worked for these things. Walk me through when you decided to become a nurse and then take me through that journey. I love that, first of all, because everything does take a long time. And I have this thing here. I don't know if you can see it. It says, our greatest accomplishments require persistence. And Mm -hmm. I take this with me everywhere I go because for me in particular, things take a long time sometimes. And I always joke that I'm a chipper away and I will make a goal that I know might take me 10 years to arrive at some sort of destination. But as soon as I get into that mentality and chip away at it, I know that I'll be able to accomplish that goal. My dream started to evolve and push the envelope. And my husband and I had a lot of conversations about wanting to live outside of the United States and live in Baja and be able to learn how to kite surf and engage in some of these new activities that we are interested in. Probably three or four years ago, I started to write down in my books and manifest, like, what are my goals? I want to make this much money. I want to work remotely, 100% remotely. I want to live in Baja part-time and Montana part-time. And it took me at least three years to get here. And honestly, the last year, has, last couple of years with COVID and everything else have been really challenging for so many of us. But in my business, we had a first manufacturing run that was bad. The scrubs were unsellable. So that was just a huge obstacle, right? I felt like I fell flat on my face, totally deflated after just like gaining so much momentum, a successful Kickstarter. We were like so excited to get our scrubs and get them out to everybody and kind of get rolling and start our business. And they were unsellable. And so we had to start over and we had to completely rebuild our supply chain during COVID, which is just more challenging anyway. And then also while working on a COVID unit for a majority of that time and, and just feeling kind of worn down, like, man, I am trying so hard in all these areas of life. And it really felt like for a solid year, like nothing was working out. And, and that was really hard. What are people saying? People, I looked at some of the reviews, but what are, what is the feedback that you're getting? Super positive reviews. People love the fit. We tried to design so they would fit a variety of bodies, which is just really tough. We're all unique and beautiful and we just wear things differently, but we really wanted to try and capture like as many bodies as we could and, and cover them in a comfortable way that was flattering. And we're getting amazing reviews in and just people writing us full page email letters is just about how inspired they are by our journey and how we stuck with it and how the product is amazing and they're so glad that we did. Would you give me out of all the things that you've been involved in really what's been the high of your career or just this process that you've been going through? Oh man yeah that's a tough one because it's such an evolution right yeah and I'm I I've had a lot of extreme lows and extreme highs like over the past seven years especially and one of my proudest things is definitely working side by side at the bedside with a really strong team who is supportive of each other. And 
I am really proud to say that on our unit, we did not eat our young. <laughs> we supported them and we watched them blossom and we watched them become more confident as time went on. That's cool. And it's because they knew that they could call any one of us in any situation to bounce something off of, to support them, to help them with the skill set, and that we would be there with a good attitude and a joke and a smile.